Hi, my name is Bob, and yes, I'm stuck at home, and I just lis listened to the latest report that says that we should wear masks when we go to the store. So, you know, I have a lot of time on my hand. I was wondering, does it work? Do masks really restrict the flow of your, of your, of your breaths, your sneezes, your coughs? And as we know, the latest reports also say that 25% of people have no symptoms for three days and they could still have the coronavirus and they could still spread it. And a proportion of those 25% never have any symptoms. So they're just leading a life for the next one, two or three weeks and they just have the illness and, and could spread it around. So I have some masks, this one that I bought recently. And then I have an old construction N95 mask that I've used. So let's see, I've got a candle at the end. This is four feet away, which as we know at a grocery store, that's tough to get four feet. Six feet, forget it, unless you're in the produce section and no one's there. You're not gonna get six feet or more. So I've got a hair dryer here um, and I'm gonna put it on low and high at times and let's see what happens to that candle if the flame dances around. So here's the N95 mask. Here is it low, four feet. Nothing. I'm going to move a little closer now. And now we're about two feet on the N95. I'm going to go to high. Let's give it, let's really try it. Okay, high and two feet. The flame is rock solid. No impact at all. So here's the mask that I bought. So let's try this. I'll keep it right up there, just like it was on our face, but maybe just a little bit of distance. Okay, low, four feet. Two feet. High. Maybe a slight waver, but looks pretty good to me. All right, here's, I recently had to give blood and they were giving out these little, not really medical masks, but you had to wear one to go in. So I'm gonna put one of these, just made out of some sort of paper. Two feet. Candle looks, I mean, the candle looks, flame looks solid. Okay, that was four, and this is two. I'm gonna go to high. Looks good. So that seemed to work. My wife, Gail, she found a website that showed you how to take a uh, t-shirt and turn it into a mask. So it's only a single layer of cotton. And I'm gonna go two feet. You can see it's working, but no movement of the flame. Go right here to two feet now, instead of four. Anything? No, All right, so that worked. Another alternative would be to use a scarf. So this is like a common scarf that you'd use, and it's, you know, two layers. All right. No, that's more like four layers. Is it? Okay, we only want two. Whatever would normally a person would have. Okay, so. Yeah, two. And. Oh! They're definitely getting flickering. I'm gonna to go to two feet. We may lose the flame this time. And if I go to high, okay, we just about lost the flame. So a scarf wasn't ideal. And then this is another scarf that we got in Mexico. It's kind of a loose knit. Loose knit. So let's try that. From four feet. A lot of motion. Matter of fact, we were about to lose it. And if I go any closer, we lost it. So that wasn't so good. And I, you can trust me that if I just use the blow dryer with nothing, the flame is gone immediately. So why wear a mask? Because it reduces the amount of, of air or you know, volume of air that's coming through the mask. And we've seen that, we've proved that. And now that we know that 25% of people are walking around with the COVID-19 virus and they're not showing any symptoms. So they could be spreading it. 
And the important thing is, if I wear a mask, I'm protecting you in case I have the virus. But when you wear a mask, then you're protecting me. So together, let's help each other and get through this. Thank you.